You asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future, not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, Scratch its gilded surface, and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted. Striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart. Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed. He challenged it. So must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the Jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. <sighs> Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. I told Nihal this would be impossible to sell when she stole it, but she could not resist. Wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so. Cheap jewels and tarnished coins. The spoils of a rogue's life. It takes but a few simple tools to build the greatest of mosques. Yes, yes, I am coming. I hope you continue to share your wisdom, Father. Wherever you are. The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep Durwish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? These shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us.
About this contract, I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But, I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. <laughs> Ah, perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Better leave before they notice. Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. Mm. There. The boisterous one. He must have something with that. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that stall, she's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anvar. Is that jealousy, I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. Good to see you. They're all looking spry. I wonder what tales will we hear Peace, today. Friend. Tall ones, most certainly. <laughs> Fahmi! Basim! The Khalifa has arrived with his court! Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Mutawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you. And maybe more someday. Oh. Basim! I am serious. She will keep you out of trouble. You could use that. See you, Fahmi. <laughs> Feel anything good today? I mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. 
Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better. Something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there. Uh, uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Huh. Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I have been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zahida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I saw them with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and spears? Of course they did. They are soldiers. I'd like to steal a sword or a helmet. Muti'a, where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me, called me a harebrained miscreant, all because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think he will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia, you do not know him as well as I. So I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough, but he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. You are on your own, Basim. Did they say anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, anyone. Anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract. So I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. Remember to pick up your feet, will you? What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates, one chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain last time I checked the ledger. 
and give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. Hey! hey. If I am seen, I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards. Locked. A minor delay. Huh? That's odd. That may be what I'm looking for. I wonder what secrets this ledger holds. Maybe I can get the old Grouser Derwish to squeeze a hint out of our contact.
still in one piece, I see. It was all too easy. Uh, How the stench of pride seeps from your pores. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Pay the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take off this thief with that insult. Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <gasps> Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <coughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Hmm... Ah, oh, yes! A black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya jasib. <laughs> what are you doing? They want that chest and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. You do not have to get involved, Nihal. I know your feelings on this. It is utterly foolish. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with and nag you until you decide to abandon the idea of stealing a chest from the Khalifa's winter palace. When you say it like that, it only excites me further. Are we going or not? Lead the way. This is a mad plan, Basim. Even if you were to succeed and they welcome you into their ranks, what then? Will you forget about us? Of course not. Nihal, their interests are our interests. You, me, and every other street dweller who has been cast aside. Living off scraps and dirty water. I can be an instrument that sees us out of that life. That sees that Jasip can use his talents to be a real craftsman. That sees that good men are not cast aside as my father was. And no children left wondering what tomorrow will bring. We are man in heaven, I'm the Seirika 
I hear what you are saying, Basim. But you paint a portrait of a world that cannot exist. That is where we disagree. There it is, the Winter Palace. Come, this way. Right behind you. Here. Let us wait for nightfall. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! It is dark enough. Come. Nihal! Fastening yourself to my tail, Basim? Very sensible. I know how you hate to be alone. Keep an eye out, you? I see some guards just that way. Nihal gone. What's happening? Keep quiet now. No groaning. Have a short nap, but not too short. Why dress that way, Zolana? Good. This door may lead us inside. Not without a key, it won't. Mm. Have a look around. 
Bazaars. Ah, sure. I don't mean to boast, but I've taken the ears of seven. Take out the whole What's been going take on? Them off. Please stop. My ears cannot possibly take any more brilliant nonsense. <laughs> What's that thing?
still. Something going on. Satan dead. Uh, nothing to worry about. Huh. I'm sure it was a jinni. What's that? Then? Huge bags of gold. Any luck finding a key? is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his needs. Khalifa awaits you. They have arrived, Mowlay. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside? Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say nothing. Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. Perish the idea. Now is our chance. Someone is coming. This way. Looks quiet. I never thought I'd set foot in here. Just look at these arches. You could chisel off a piece and sell it for a hoard of gold. You didn't happen to bring a pickaxe, did you? I will keep it in mind for the next time we break into a palace. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry! Basim! Give me that! No! 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 no. 
Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please, I... I am sorry! This... This is your fault! Stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! Miel, wait! Father! Get that boy! Hold on! Get over here and help me! No one will pass me! this. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. That object. It did something to me. I was... somewhere else. Cold. And frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Basim. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer. A young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal, Derwish, they are all in danger. The 
soldiers are hunting all who look like me. Is anyone in there? I, try try. I will not be safe for certain if I do not use these guards. Point your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us. You killed them! You did it this! It came from over there! I hope I never see you again. Hurry! All of them dead. When it was me they sought to punish. I... I... I cannot be here. I cannot. New day, another test. I should get back. So, put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. 
Get dressed, and we can begin. Go on, Vassar. Like we practiced. Yes, Master. You look strong today, Basim. Keep training. Steady, Basim. Steady. Lead! No! Yes, Master! I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. Basim, speak with Fulab and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Have you seen Mentor Rehan in camp? He is preparing to... Good day, Tepid. Hello, Basim. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. Have you seen Fulad? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka Lahikan. He is preparing to receive the Tahari Emissary, Master. Thank you. I may get back to you on this. Of ah, what is this in the corner? Here. A small design. It is my signature, so you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Araka Lahekan. within the Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Aban? I... 
can only speak of what I know, your Sardegi. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will it last? How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasaidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentorayan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Rebecca? Tassim, Tassim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. <laughs> this blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it. How does training go, ya Sadiqi? Noor showed me a new way to grip my knife. And it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Ya Elahi, well done. Ah, you have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Ya Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidi. Wa alaikum assalam. I was out in the mountains earlier, and the sight of Fortress Alamut filled me with awe. Mentor Rehan told us to take inspiration from nests the eagles construct in the Alamut peaks. I can see the influence. Wada'an. Rafaqak Allah. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sadiqi. Wa alaikum assalam. Did Fulab send you? No, he did not. You're not here to help move these rocks? I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then.
Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stab first. Good. Yes. Excellent. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go! That's it! Yeah. Excellent. Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Yes! That's good! Excellent! Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself! Good work! That's the way! Well done! Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took you by surprise. Well done! that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words, and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed? 
My apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourselves by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Fulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the Heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. These would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Bassam? Leave the stories for later. Hop up! May I speak to you in confidence? You know you can. I overheard Mentor Rayhan speaking to an emissary earlier. Mentor Rayhan asked if we may come under attack for dealing with rebels in Baghdad. Are we safe here at Alamu? I do not know, but I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. How goes the watch? Nothing happening at all on Alamut, and I am so hungry. We did not make it to the main canyon. Excellent. We will start there. Thank you. Come, Noor. Follow me. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before my ceremony. From excitement and a small bit of fear, if I am to be honest. We all fear the unknown, but a greater unknown awaits on the other side of initiation. You speak of the Order. I see them as monsters from a tale, hiding in dark corners down dark alleys. The difference is that the Order is real. What do they want? They want to control Baghdad. They want power. <laughs> this is Mohja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Behind you. We must strike fast. Agreed. We must wait for the right moment. Stop you! Hey, rest assured. I'm always ready. But I've got her back. Do not make a noise. Yes! Show no mercy! 
Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course, Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him, and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan. Assalamu alaikum, Basim. I must see Al Hassan. He awaits me. Ah. Assalamu alaikum, Rebecca. Wa alaikum assalam, Basim. It was a slow and boring day. Did you not know that I have been called to be initiated? Oh? We are really initiating anyone now. Where is this all coming from? <laughs> oh, calm down. I'm well aware this is the great day of Basim. Wafakaka Allah.
How are you feeling on this auspicious day? It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside, but I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Bassa. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modern. And thank you, Al Hassan. I wish I could just take a look into the cave for a moment. Good day, Tabid. What are you busying yourself with? Have you heard about Iltani? One of the first of our founders, she assassinated Alexander the Great with an ingenious poison. I have attempted to recreate it from historical records. Iltani has taught me that no enemy is untouchable, no matter how powerful they appear. Thank you for this lesson. Wafakakallah. I wish I could just take a look into the cave for a moment to see what is there. There is one thing I do know about today's ceremony. Basim will leave the cave a little bit lighter than he went in. <laughs> do not be wicked. Wicked? I am just being honest. This is a big stage. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap? I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path as a novice and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come, your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come. It is time. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. I cannot imagine you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. 
Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Semibnus Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Letting your anger take over again. I don't remember teaching you that. You have trained me well, Roger. Prepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here, drink. <laughs> Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They, the order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once.
Awesome. We should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Hmm. Now, where does my heart take me? Such familiar sights. Greetings once again, Baghdad. Show me what I have missed. This is a Hidden One's bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he is in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! 
seems Noor mapped out this very district. Mark the factory's area to the north. What is there? The rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. Is there anything more you can tell me about the Sharia district? Why would it be of interest to Noor? The people there are in quiet support of the rebels. Common folk, workers, merchants. Come to think of it, Noor did make mention of a new contact. A merchant. It may be this merchant dwells in Ashara, among the dying leather factory workers. I will keep an eye out for a stall. What do you see? Just a moment. Darwish! Basim? Azizi! I thought you were dead! I feared the same. What are you doing here? You? Your clothes? You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Forgive me, this is all too much. When I did not find you among the dead, I hoped that somehow you had escaped. I spent many nights praying for your life, praying that you found safety. Today, Allah has answered me. I am not worthy of your prayers. What happened that night was not your doing. It was the doing of evil men. You know this. It is why you have chosen to walk this path. It is why I have found my way to Baghdad. Ali ibn Muhammad is brash and sees himself a great hero of prophecy. I loathe the man, but we fight a common enemy. One I must help defeat if my soul is to one day rest. So it is true. You are the rebel merchant who was helping Noor. What has become of him? He clings to life. But he is safe among our people. I am to continue his work and hunt Baghdad's oppressors. Ali was helping Noor get closer to one such man. But as you may know, he has since disappeared. He hasn't disappeared. He has been captured, a fate shared by many rebels of late. Do you know where he is being held? He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. It is good to see you again. Just watch yourself. You may be in better hands, but I'm still a nagging old man. And Basim, if ever you are feeling a little thievish, come see me. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course.
وراثهم حرم المرء اليس كذلك المجتمع الذي اتوقع ذلك This is the outpost Ali was taken to. scribe ever going to play nicely together? Not likely. The man thinks he can let loose his tongue just because of his rank. If he gets in my way again, I will kill him myself. And who will record the prisoners then? You? <laughs> you cannot fasten your own braces, let alone write. <laughs> if it means we rid ourselves of his blithering, I will happily learn. Hold on! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That one looks like a scribe. Hey! What was that? That was safe from death. Wait, what? Hey, what's going on? Huh? I will hold on to that for you.
What? This looks like a scratch quarters. A list of prisons, all paired with different marks. close ally Beshi. He may know more. I should seek him out near the harbor. Yeah. 
that may be Beshi rallying but those men. Remain. Are you Beshi? I am with Nur. You knew him, yes? I knew him. Last I saw, he was being chased from the city. Does he live? Barely, but he is safe. Stubborn bastard. What do I call you? Basim. Very well, Basim. Have you a blade other than that butter knife you carry? You may fancy yourself something bigger just now. For what? Are you setting off to find Ali? Not quite yet. These here are only half my men. The rest are being held at the Haba, further up the road. There may be too few of us to wage an attack. If you want to save your men, our approach should be a cautious one. I will go, quietly. Have these men lie in wait and escort those we free. Your kind all think the same way. But it is a sound plan. to vanish.
Thank you, my Get friend. to the docks. Find Beshi. Many thanks, friend. That is the last. I must regroup with them. You are a hound, Basim. I am only doing my part. Together, we will see the end of what ails this city. Look no further than Al Ghul, the man only spoken of and never seen. What can you tell me about him? He takes enemies of the Caliphate and makes them dig in the desert. Prisoners, rebels, laborers, in search of what? I do not know. These men were captured with Ali weeks ago and were destined to perish beneath the sands. Not Ali. He's been taken elsewhere. They marked and separated us. <sighs> Ali was in another group. They wanted to question him about you and your friends. Can you show me this marking? What are you thinking? Ali and Noor got close enough to Al Ghul that he took notice. If we find Ali, he can lead us to Al Ghul. Mm. It is but one path. There may be another. I will go where these men were being sent to dig, and pose as a captive. Are you mad? Only stubborn. Here, take this. What do I do with it? It is a Hidma token. Those who understand its value will do what is in their power to help. I will send these men to regroup at the water mill on the northern outskirts. A rebel stronghold. You are welcome there. Wafakak Allah. Barak Allah Hufiq. If I were in Ali's position, I would do the same. An army is only as powerful as its weakest soldier. Assalamu alaikum, Basim. Wa alaikum assalam, Ahmed. How was your journey? I am Abu Jafar. Right. My apologies. Is there a problem? Not yet. But we've discovered Ali was brokering a deal with Noor to supply the rebels with resources in exchange for his help. The order is a thorn in his side, yes, but Ali has his sights set on the Khilafa. He will want us to honor this deal. What news do you bring? Our target is Al Ghul. He uses prisoners and laborers to dig around Baghdad. Ali and some of his men were captured and marked. With Beshi's help, I freed them. But Ali had been taken elsewhere for questioning. One of the rebels showed me his mark. 
If this list of captives is correct, Ali was sent to the Damascus Gate prison. Where are these rebels now? A watermill, on the northern outskirts. I will meet with them. See what more I can learn about this deal. Find Ali. The Damascus Gate prison is the most well-guarded prison in Baghdad. This will prove to be no small challenge, I can tell you. I will scout ahead. Meet me near the prison's front gate. A moment of your time before you go, Basim? I have some useful thoughts to share. You have my ears. First, I have fashioned a board with information brought to us by our spies around the city. Consult it at your leisure. Second, these lands are ripe with materials to improve your weapons. See the blacksmith Jawar nearby. He could help you. And lastly, I am your man for any tool enhancement. Bring me materials, and you will see what mastery I can provide. Resourceful as always. My thanks, Abu Jafar. There it is, as cruel and unforgiving as I remember. You were once imprisoned here. Oh no, I have never been inside. In fact, I have never stood closer than this very place. It was from here that I would fly my kite high over these prison walls. It had a unique pattern, you see. One I stitched together with my father when I was just a boy. So here I came, day after day, hoping for a gust that would take it high enough so that he would see it and know that I was here. I do not know if he ever did. I know this pain, and I am sorry for yours. I am not. Such pains forge our paths, remind us of who we are, who we can be. Speaking of paths, I see only one, and it is not inviting. No, we need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. Could this help? Where did you get that? Beshi. He told me these tokens command a high value among the common folk. Indeed. You could perhaps bribe the guards to look the other way, or enlist the help of some merchants. I shall see what flavor best suits me. I will take my leave and return to the Bureau. Fakakallah. I 
Forsaken place. Better get to searching.
That's odd. Hey! <coughs> I'll flay you when I fight you! Ali has been taken somewhere beneath the prison, and likely tortured. I need to hurry. Someone comes begging. For Hold them. on. Take out the horse's legs, then pick them off like... Hey, what's going on?
did this to you? The... Jailer. Where is he? With another... Beneath us. Death will come for him soon. He may be speaking of Ali. I pray I am not too late. of sweat and hopelessness. Killing me is your stench. This must be Ali. <laughs> and you are? Basim, friend to Noor. Let us save the details for another time. We need to get you out of here. Slow yourself, Ya Azizi. We cannot leave, not yet. I need to get into the guards' quarters. What for? It is Al Ghul you are after, is it not? The guards of this prison serve him. They take shifts escorting groups of prisoners to dig sites under the cover of night. If we can find their orders, we may know where Al Ghul is going next. Is that reason enough? Stay close to me, stay low, and do not. St oh, come, Basim, I know how to defend myself. Really? What with? Let's try not to get in each other's way. Tell me, Basim, because I must know. Just how did you make it down here? Easy. I sucked in my belly and wiggled through the cracks. Take it as a compliment. I know your kind like to frolic in the dark, but... Even the world's greatest thief would steer clear of this prison. Ali, one day I will tell you all about my past. Then you will understand. Such a tease. Have much time. Break it down! Uh, Ali! I heard you! Uh, Over there! By the armor! Uh, 
Hurry! I have it! Take it to Roshan, my master. She is with your rebels at the water mill stronghold. I will slow the guards. Now go! Change that, I should not regroup with Ali. The risk is too great. Oh. Oh. All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first try the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills, finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. <gasps> Beshi! He tracked down one of al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing. But that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? 
That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. Don't allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. within our reach, Basim. And like those before yeah. and those yet to come, al death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue. For al is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands, so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trail. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al Ghul, For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Come, the stage is yours, Basim. I will be watching.
we were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before El Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. Just passing through. What was that? Wait, what? Advantage. Well met, traveler. The Karwan Sarai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. That is absurd. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. Be on your way now. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. If I am going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. I am not here. Now to free those men. Where, where, where is... Where, where? Those two men are having a light dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? I have claimed the deed from your handler. You are bound no longer. Go! The laborers run amok. al -Ghul will take notice. I must be ready to strike. Word will surely get to al -Ghul. Come out and spectate, coward. Keep at it. There he is. Now is my chance. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects. Like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? 
I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbeya Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. Sadiq, I am as sorry as you. I have so much to tell you. And I you. We will grant each other an audience. But first, I must know something. What? Why are you dressed like a peasant? Perhaps I have less to tell you than I thought. I think I can surmise what our time apart has been like for you. And you? You have not been living here, I hope. <laughs> Less living, more working. On what? Why do I know this? Because you have seen it. On the object we found at the Winter Palace. I have been trying to remember the specifics of its design. You have spent all this time obsessing over this symbol? Why? Because I too have seen it before. I know not where or when. Only that I have. Whatever it is, it calls to me. I intend to unravel its mystery, and so should you. Ah, but of course. Duty calls. Stop. I will bear it in mind if it means you will spend more time outside these musty walls than you do within. You really do spare a thought for everyone, don't you, Basim? Araki Lahika. The Order of the Ancients are far from defeated. Master Roshan is certain to have a plan brewing to uproot them. And perhaps I should look into Nihal's obsession. It seems Nihal is trying to discover the location of a secret chamber. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. Alhamdulillah, a first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ibid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abbasia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Thank you. 
This should serve me well. My thanks, Ahmad. It's Abu Jaf... <laughs> oh, you jest. Every now and again. Araka lahikan, Abu Jafar. Keep well. And you, Bassam. It is time we fight. Your anger is just, but you will not win a war, Ali. Basim, good, you are needed. Mercenaries have taken some rebels and executed them in the square. And your Rafiq would have me hide like a rat while they hunt my men openly. We must at least return the dead to their families. Do you still fear to fight these devils, Beshi? My only fear is that we become like them. There is more to this than it seems. The Khalifa would not risk war. This is the work of the Order. Then I will find those responsible and slaughter them like dogs. The Order will find you first. It's likely they are looking for you and Beshi already. You are well known to them. Basim, however... Ali, I will find who did this and I will kill them all. You have my word. Basim is right. Let him do this. When those responsible lie dead, you will receive the credit. All right. Everyone must know it was me. I will return to Jarjaraya, but I will not wait long. I will meet you at the gate, Basim. And I will make sure the bodies are returned to the families for burial. That might have gone badly. You think this is the work of the Order? Yes. As you know, Shakia is run by Turkic mercenaries paid by the Khalifa, who himself is only a puppet for the Order. Spies tell me at least one of the mercenary commanders in Shakia is with them. Tell me who, and I will find him. We must tread carefully. Shakia stands on a razor's edge. The rebels are armed and growing in number. They could attack at any time. A misstep here could start a war that threatens even Elamut. What do you advise, Fulav? Go with Ali to Jarjaraya and look around. Someone there must know something. And Basim, work quickly. You see what is at stake. Hmm. Ali is waiting at the gate for me to go with him to Jarjaraya. A Tha'abin member is near. Ali, 
Are you ready? We must go. Let us go. We must leave for Jarjaraya. Yola! <laughs> you hidden ones are strange. You give weapons you don't want me to use, then give me credit for your victims. War would be bad for everyone, especially you. That is your master speaking. Does it not bother you that those you obey are the same ones who make the rules demanding your obedience? They do not control me. I am free. I fight so that others are free as well. Everything you do serves the Hidden Ones. That is a strange kind of freedom. The Hidden Ones are my family. There is no contradiction. If you say so. Once I lived on the streets and answered only to myself. But I was not free. Now that others tell you who you are, are you any freer? You could not understand. I understand better than you. If you are truly free, why the struggle within you? What do you mean? There is no struggle. I see that what you think is at war with what you feel. You will never find truth if you are not first truthful with yourself. No man can see what another thinks. No normal man. But look at me. I obey no one. I am ruled by no one. I am free. I do not know what you are. I want to look around before Beshi arrives in Jarjaraya with the bodies. That would be wise. People here are already angry. Things will be worse after the burials. There is a tea house nearby. Tea drinkers talk. You might hear something there about who is taking our men. What will you do? I have my own inquiries to make. Meet me back here if you discover something. Look suspicious. Another shard. Like the tea house Ali mentioned. How is your tea, this With is no cold. Position, Get me a him and he took the sun. Yes, he did. A thousand apologies. Perfectly good sun slaves go missing. Yet incompetence like you remain. No, stop talking. Just get my tea. I overheard you mention that slaves have gone missing. What? Who are you? How dare you talk to me? Go away! Perhaps a token will change your mind. How dare you? What do you... Wait. 
How did you come by one of those? Fine. But make it quick. You mentioned Zenj slaves have been going missing. I don't see what it has to do with you. But yes, a stranger. One of those rebels has been disturbing the slaves. After he spoke with them, they disappeared. No doubt he's an acquaintance of that troublemaker Ali ibn Muhammad. That's all I know. Now, leave before someone who matters sees me talking with someone like you. Damn slaves! I treat them well. I pay them well. I feed them. And then they disappear. <laughs> and no one's left to work. He might talk. If I can sober him up. Time to sober up. Enough! I'm better! A tea house is a dangerous place to be drinking. You could have been arrested. I've just had a lot of trouble lately. You said some of your slaves have gone missing. Hmm. Did I? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, not just missing. They disappeared. People do not just disappear. These did. Last night, two of mine did not come back from the fields. No one saw anything. They just disappeared. Poof. So you thought you would get drunk in a public tea house? Well, yeah. Oh, my head. Look, do not tell anyone. I have to go home and fall over. Hey, over here. This way. Did you want something? Not here. There are too many ears, if you take my meaning. Ah, yes, Sayidi. Our special teas are kept out the back. This way, watch your step. Follow me. Act casual. <sighs> All right, it's clear. Well, we seem to be alone. What did you want? Sorry for the melodramatics, but you never know who's watching. And this sneaking about is all rather exciting. I saw your red sash and heard you talking about missing slaves. Another has disappeared from a farmhouse near here. How do you know of this? I am friendly with the family. The husband was one of those executed. Now the son has gone missing as well. His mother is beside herself with worry. I thought you might be able to help her. Tell me where this farmhouse is. A little to the west. Slaves don't trust easily. But if you can do anything for her, I would consider it a personal favor. I should return to Ali and tell him what I have discovered. It will only make more trouble for us. More trouble than executions? <clears throat> they slaughtered our brothers. 
How do you not understand? Ali, what is this? This is not what we agreed to. I do what must be done. I do not need your approval. Did you discover something? Slaves are disappearing from all over Jarjaraya. One from a nearby farmhouse. I will go there and see what I can find. Good. Our friend here has been spending his mornings at the harbor, meeting with one we think is informing for the Khalifa. You could find this informant and follow him. See where that leads. Meanwhile, Beshi and I will loosen our friend's tongue. This is a mistake, Ali. Let us see. I should look for the informant and help the widow find her missing son. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. This could be the informant. This is the harbor. The informant is here somewhere. For what, I wonder? I should follow him, but I cannot let him see me. There is the mark. Now to keep them in my sight and avoid unwanted attention. to evade me. What have you got for me? Apart from that slave kid I already told you about. Someone's been sniffing around Jarjaraya asking questions. Uh, is it the one we reported last time? That troublemaker, Bashi. This one is new. No one seems to know anything about him. What are we doing then? I'm carrying letters for the boss and you're wasting my time. Come back when you've got a name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
These two were gathering information for someone called Duan bin Arslan. I must find this Duan. But first I should help the widow with her missing son. Perhaps it is connected. Survey the area in Kidu. Maybe he's safe somewhere. He could be lost. No, he's gone. I haven't even had the chance to gather flowers for my husband's funeral, and now my son is gone too. This must be the place, poor woman. I will need to win her trust. Excuse me. Who are you? What do you want? Forgive me. I did not mean to startle you. The tea house owner told me of your trouble. Perhaps I can help. I do not see how. I don't know you. You need flowers for your husband's burial. I too once lost those close to me, but could not bury them. It would be an honor if you let me do for you what I could not do for my friends. I will gather these flowers. My husband often brought some white savory to me. If you bring me some, I will leave them at his grave once he is buried. As my final gift. It will be done. The flowers will be nearby. I should look around. Yalla! These look like the flowers I need. These are beautiful flowers. My friends would have approved. I brought the flowers, with my sympathy. They are such elegant flowers. My husband loved them. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? I am trying to find out who is taking slaves from Jarjaraya. I know your son is missing. Yes. I lost his father. It would be more than I can bear if I lost him too. Can you tell me what he was doing before he went missing? When his father was taken, he became very unhappy. He started going out at night. Last night, he never returned. I will look around. There might be something here that tells what happened. I could pick up her son's tracks around here. There are a lot of tracks here. The tracks lead to that small building. I need to find a way inside. The oil is low. He was working late. A letter. He mentions a nearby farm. I should let his mother know what I have found. I 
I found a letter from your son. He was looking for the men who took his father. Oh, that foolish boy. He mentioned a nearby farm. Do you know what he was talking about? Oh, no. That is Doan's farm. It is crawling with mercenaries. If he went there, please find my son. If he lives, I will send him back to you. You have my word. Doan's farm will be heavily guarded. I should return to Ali and discuss the next move. You return at last. What have you done? What I had to do. Is this what your freedom looks like? I do not follow your creed, nor do I answer to the Hidden Ones. This is the price of war. Beshi would disagree. Beshi does not lead this rebellion. He does his part and I do mine. But enough. What have you discovered? The missing slaves were taken at the order of one called Duan bin Arslan. Something big is happening soon. I do not know what. I do. This one said my men are being interrogated and are to be executed by their leader afterward at the villa. Ali, the informant mentioned Beshi by name. They are looking for him. Let them look. Go free my men. I will prepare our attack on the villa. Meet me near the farm when you are done. This looks like the farm where Ali's men are being held. What's happening? What? <coughs> <coughs> Wait, what? What was that? Hold on.
Ali is waiting just outside the farm. Go, quickly. The widow's son is not here. Huh. Your stench must have worn them off. mother is waiting for you. I'm not going back yet. They killed my father. I will fight with the others. You are brave. Fine. Meet Ali outside the farm. That is all of them. I should meet with Ali. Is everyone here? The one bin Arslan dies now. We wait only for you. I am ready. Let us go. They stole you from your homes when you were free. And brought you here to die in their fields as slaves. They've slaughtered our brothers like dogs in Shalqiya. Now they have taken more of us. No! No more! I promised you a new life. I gave you my word. More join us every day. From the least in Baghdad to the greatest. Allah is with us. Our cause is righteous. Our justice is destined. God is great. God is great. There is no God but God, and God is great. There is no God but God. There is no God but God. There is no judgment but by God!
I better get back. Do not continue doing that. When word gets out of this victory, many will join our cause. Duan ben Arslan was carrying orders. He was to report to superiors at the officers' club in Sharkia. Those superiors may be who ordered the executions. Does it name them? It uses code names. al Ruch and Al-Aishma. Only the order uses such names. I will go to this club and see what I can find. I wish you luck. I must return and wait for Beshi. Be careful, Ali. The Khalifa will be hunting you both after this. There are things we cannot hide from if we are to be truly free. I should go to the officer's club in Sharkia. Officer's room. I need the key.
Unlawful to make her your slave. Oh, don't look at me like that. Allah has favored us, Jasur. Or should only the mighty Al Mardikhwar enjoy such blessings? Do not speak his name, not even here. Of all of us, he scares me the most. You know what he's like. If he learns of my past and finds fault, where can I run? I do not have the luxury of your ships, Nadir. You may have taken liberties with truth in the past, but you have proven your loyalty many times. You executed those rebels recently. That was a task more cold-blooded than his ordering of it. Perhaps he should fear you. It is your voice I hear, but the words are those of the Shaitan himself. Do not jest. I want no trouble when he returns. <laughs> Shaitan! <laughs> That is high praise coming from you. It is as I told you. We are favored and need not fear anything. <sighs> Where is Duong? He is late. As always, my friend, you worry too much. Which is why you are merely al Ruh, and I am Aeshme. My apologies, generals. Doan bin Arslan has been murdered. And we fear there is an intruder. We must get you to safety. I knew something was wrong. Duong is never late. Those two are with the Order. And they serve a third they call El Mar de Juar. But now, I need to find a way out. <gasps> You have kicked many nests. Mercenaries are everywhere, like angry ants. It explains Beshi's absence. He's avoiding the mercenaries. I hope the trouble was all worth it. I have discovered two of the officers are working with the Order. And there is another. Their leader. Three? That would explain the Order's reach in Sharqiya. The first two go by the names al Ruh and al Aishma. The third, they call al Mar de Khwar. They hide behind pompous names like prideful children. Do not mistake the Order's vanities for childishness. They are the real power behind the Abbasids. Did you discover anything that would identify them? The one named al Ruh was called Jasur by his companion. He is hiding from his past, and lives in fear because of it. Jasur, yes. That must be the Arab general Jasur ibn Basil. I know of him. 
A coward who stole credit for victories on the battlefield, won by others. A past he has gone to great efforts to hide. Jasur has a villa at Qasr Saleh to the west. You could look for him there. The one called Al Aishma. His real name is Nadir. He has command of ships and is not timid like his companion. Arrogant, in fact. Nader. That must be Admiral Nader ibn Havid. A boastful fool concerned more with his ships than his own men. Ah, yes, the Admiral. Boastful, perhaps, but brilliant. He has created several new warships for the Khalifa. The Order's reach has grown if they have recruited Nader. You should look for him at the lower harbor, to the north. As for their leader, al Mardekhwar, I learned only that he is away from Sharkia, and expected to return soon. This one I do not know. It is the first time I have heard the name. If he is their leader, he ordered the death of my men. He's the one you must find. Yes, and for other reasons besides. Our best hope of finding him is through the first two, Find this al Mardekhwar, Basim. As we agreed, I will wait for Beshi. I am grateful for your help freeing my men. Take this token. With thanks. I will find Jasur and Nadir, and unmask their leader. They will be wary now, protected within their strongholds. You may have to lure them out. Tread carefully, Basim. These are dangerous men. So am I. on high alert. I am expected. Something that happened in Sharkia has a body. Hey, it's more than usual, I mean. Hey! <laughs> Alert! We've got company! Yeah, sure, sure. The, the Sahib will skin us with slack off. Hold on! <laughs> Hold up! Stop the 
بكسر أصابعه الواحدة It was your time. A key. There must be a door it opens. Hey! You're out there, aren't you? Khuar had questions about our friend's past. Smart. He was ordered to a meeting at the Great Garrison. One down. Now to deal with Al Aishma. I doubt we'll see the admiral in the party today. He's busy working on more of his precious mother ships. Do you know why he's afraid of fire? When he was a boy, he tried to steal a sip from a bubbling pot of stew. His hair caught fire. They almost couldn't put it out. <laughs>
not interested. Go. Trouble comes our way. <laughs> <We'll be. laughs> I'm always there. I've got to <laughs> A likely spot? This is a detailed diagram of a strange looking ship. Directing all shipments to a location just south, along the river Tijla. Shipment is headed outside the city. Now you'll never make captain. I want to take. Hey, what was that? On your guard! We have company! Salam.
Admiral Nader is very concerned about keeping fire away from his prototype ship. Admiral is all there. Been nothing. I've never Maybe heard anyone not. bluster so much and do so little. Not even you. Shut up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
Within breach. Weapons ready. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> has more for this precious model ship than his own men. And look at it. I'm surprised it floats. It would be a pity if that little ship caught fire. No, it wasn't Sajjad that lived it. Survive a hundred ocean battles to suffer and suck! I want the dog found! Bring the a letter from Al Mar de Juar about missing shipments belonging to the Turkic mercenaries. The Admiral was stealing. That is two down. I should return to Fulad. Wait, Ali. Let us hear from Basim first. Were you successful in your tasks? General Jasur and Admiral Nadir are dead. Did you find anything to identify Al Mar de Khwar? Not exactly. General Jasur was commanded to meet Al Mar de Khwar at the Great Garrison. It seems his past finally caught up with him. Admiral Nadir was questioned about missing supply shipments meant for the Turkic military. Almar de Khwar was not happy. So, Almar de Khwar is at the Great Garrison overseeing supplies for the Turkic mercenaries. There is only one officer of sufficient rank who fits. Warlord Wasif at Turkey. Wasif? This makes sense. There are few others who could have taken Beshi. Beshi has been taken? He never came back. Wasif just returned from an excursion for the Khalifa and is at the garrison. If he has Beshi, that is where he will be. Then that is where I am going. Wasif controls half of Baghdad. If we challenge him and fail, it could start a war that reaches even Alamuts. You need Basim. Fine. I will meet Basim near the garrison before I move, but do not take long. 
I am finished waiting. Enter the great garrison and kill Wasif. He must not escape, and it must look like Ali did it. The safety of Alamut depends on it. It will be done. Ali, are you ready? And who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? There is more at stake here than your pride, Wasif. We walk a narrow path. Enough! Take care what you say when we next meet, Governor. I will not suffer such insult twice. That's Wasif and Baghdad's governor, Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Tahir. He gave Wasif an order. The warlord did not like it. The governor of Baghdad has no authority over the warlord. Unless... Could he also be with the order? Muhammad? I don't believe it. He is not just governor. He is a poet and a scholar. The man has spirit. I hope to make him an ally. Well, I hope you are right. Wasif is enough to deal with. I just have to find a way inside the garrison. One of the stewards inside is loyal to me. You will find him near the cookhouse. When he sees the red sash, he will help you. What will you do? I will find Beshi and then free other rebels being held in the prison. Wasif, I leave to you. Warlord, you cloak yourself in the Khalifa's colors so you can kidnap and kill at will. You are a plague upon the land. Its soil is red with the blood of those you have butchered, all because they sought their freedom, or because you feared they would. You think yourself untouchable, surrounded by your soldiers. But we will storm the garrison. Free Beshi. And see your reign of terror end. Those walls do not look climbable. I will have to find another way in. Those garrison walls are useless as they are. Have you seen the holes in the garrison walls? What's the point of having walls if they have holes in them? You mean the construction? There are guards everywhere. No one is getting in or out of that place without being caught. There might be a way in along the northern wall. I should take a look. This, there is a steward here loyal to Ali. He will be somewhere near the cookhouse. Where there is a key, there is a lock or a gate. You are Ali's man? I saw your red sash. We must be quick. Wasif is in the inner garrison. I can get you through a side entrance, but we cannot be seen together. Follow me at a distance and stay out of sight. I understand. Tell me when you're ready to go. All right, let us go. I will walk in the open to avoid suspicion. Follow me at a distance and stay in cover. Try to stay in the shadows. Have you heard those screams? Sounds like ghosts or something. I heard the prison is haunted. Something's happening down there that isn't... Right. I heard the same thing at Damascus Gate. 
you don't want to know. I hope they fix the wall soon. You and me both. My patrols will be shorter for one thing. Warlock will keep his back. So no shirking on your patrols. The full round all the way to the base. If I catch any of your shortcutting, you can reach cage to the three duty for a fight. Everything seems quiet enough, my friend. Be about your business. Be quick. So far, so good. We're halfway. If you fail, I will not be able to help you, and you must find your own way. This is the barracks. Wasif's room is probably... This is the barracks. Wasif's room is probably further inside. Surprisingly bare for a man of his rank. This is an elaborate shrine. Wasif must have loved his mother. Stand straight and eyes front! The warlord is arriving and will tolerate no disorder. Better. The heft is good. The balance, too. The hilt is still a bit tight. Let us see if the edge is better. Whoever bears arms against us is not one of us. You chose the wrong side, my friend. Judgment belongs to Allah, not you. It's still sticking. Make the blood grooves deeper. Time to put the dog down!
We should free the others. Then you can lead your men outside. I will deal with Wasif. Outside? Don't be foolish. This is the perfect beginning. We are going to pull this place down. dangerous than he looks. Your men are free. Now I must find Wasif. There's a signal fire just above here. Once lit, it will raise an alarm throughout the garrison. The guards will come to us. And I will find a way into his room while he is alone. All right. I will light the fire. Do not forget our agreement. I have not forgotten.
Taken from an eagle who fell out of the sky. A symbol of freedom. A word you did not use often. And never will again. Oh. So this is freedom. Yet, I do not see any way out. We'll have to fight our way out. Our revolution begins now! With me! This may not be good. Hey. Down with hey. me! Why do they fight? Their warlord lies dead already. That is it! Let us get out of here! Follow me! Stay close! Is this what you mean by freedom? Throwing our way out of a cannon? Yeah! Do you like your stomach for an honest fight? No, I just prefer an honest assassination. I hope your men better than the warlord trained his. Oh, we made it! That was close! Inevitable. It won't save you. Perhaps our cause appeals to you more than you think. That is the last of them. Let us go out the same way we came in. Oh no, my friend. We are leaving through the front gate. Keep up! We are close. The victory is ours. We are with you, Sahib Azen!
This is a good day. I will meet you at the bureau. Hmm. should return to Fuller at the Bureau. If you mention the cat, he will come. And here he is. Go softly, come softly, so the cat does not gore you. You have honored your word. Basif lies dead, and all who hear of it, hear of me. I regret we could not save Beshi. He was a brave man. Already they tell his story throughout Baghdad. He will free more by his death than he did in life. Freedom has a price. The only question is whether we will pay it. Beshi was proud to. I have much to do. I would wish peace upon you both, but we know that is not in your future. Nor mine. I fear Ali is right. Nothing will stop his rebellion now. Maybe nothing should. The things he says. At the garrison, we saw Wasif arguing with Governor Muhammad ibn Tahir. Muhammad? That is odd. I will keep eyes on him. Arrakalahekan. Over here. <laughs> you seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. And you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. No, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Roshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Hmm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the Karch I remember. It is your Karch no longer. Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat Al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues. It betrays trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. Master. Are you ready, Basim? Karha waits. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here? To Karh? No. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. 
The Order has spread their influence into every crack in the city, turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. The Order's blight falls over Karh, and we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Karh? She does not like the politics, but she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Business is at each other's throats. The obsession over money. <laughs> Perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy, and often corrupted. Come, we're nearly there. Welcome back to Kar. <sighs> Spice still clings to the air. What was it like, the first time you took a life? I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the Hidden Ones. You do not remember? My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, it takes us in our dreams. Like with you and your Jinni. Now, the Souk. Like Rebecca said, some guards came through recently. <sighs> Breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods. Mostly from the East Road. The East Road? I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basan. I will not. I know nothing stays the same. It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. She's done for. She should have paid them off the first time they threatened her. Do you blame her? I find myself only scraping by with this new tax on our stalls. Business is not easy. Broken. Completely destroyed. Those guards, they know no mercy. This is nothing. Do you know what they are doing to the perfume merchant? This is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off a finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Oh, help me, please!
What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the Dairat Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. That camp must be where the merchants are. The merchants should be down this road. Perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Halt! Who goes? I come in peace. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My, my horse, is my sweet legume. Malaka, must have been who would do such a terrible blade. deed? Do not cast your eyes on me. I did no such evil. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone. I think I cannot be sure. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock! Malaka! <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran, God bless you. Quickly, get us away from here. Let us move. The city is not too far. Come. We should leave this place, quickly. Should have stayed home. <clears throat> Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. My horse legume, we carry goods to and from Baghdad. All oh, the cities we visited. Arkut, Basra, and even Samara. Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending, then? Attending? <laughs> oh, I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations.
the guards report to someone called Al Hankal. This confirms my suspicions. Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the Silent Sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Ankab. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as al Anqa, Which was odd. Because is the Anqa not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. Suhail lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafaqaq Allah. The tax collector is due a visit. What? What's happening? Nothing. Hey. <laughs> sharp now. Oh. <gasps> that the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. There might be more information I can find around here. Oh, my 
Orders to increase taxes. More coin trickling into their hands. Taxes have been paid. does not work alone. Someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Rose with... Iron. Hmm. I am done here. Now to look into the other lead. What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong, it is me, Basim. Huh? Is this Who? Basim. I am not an idiot. Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim! Little Finch, look at you all dressed up. Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man. Huh. So, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling door we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. Not welcome here. Go. What? I'll finish you! crate of tea leaves. Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. <laughs> My leaves! Praise be to you, little Finch. 
Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. Basim delivers once again. Many thanks, little Finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kong first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, Little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my Basim. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Koch is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Friend. I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right, you'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. mentioned. I need to find out more about this harbor master. I better be sure to check them all. Instructions to search any and all foreign goods. For an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. All starts at the harbor. Yes. 
stench must have okay, warned us now. Dairat al Mal, ceramics, exotic wares, and rare goods, all on display. of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things. Vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Another wall between the people and power at play. I hope the harbor master is not expecting me. Oh! <laughs> 
Subhanakum Allah. One artifact in the... Come, I have good. Say, uh, who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handed? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch, when we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the Grand Auction. Hmm, nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the Bureau. Our critical Hidden One returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimiyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. <clears throat> the plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. 
This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Havan Muvatan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karg, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! <laughs> you know me. Come, let us chat. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha! <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. Trust Kong to hold a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops.
Here. Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer. Be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auctions. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin? From the east. This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat, Not something we can rush, yes, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina. Oh, no. no one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the harbor withholding our supplies, production has been slow in Sahidat. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha. The woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. 
If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, Ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. Assalamu alaikum. Yasas. Nihal. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Uh, two. Any others? Hmm. We have a hmm. third there. Oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. <laughs> I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. 
No brooch, no entry. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karg. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Suspicious. I should investigate. <laughs> this must be the Ivory Coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Treasure them. Mean if only you go. Read the box. Forget the place. I have to talk. The 
forbidden in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone.
She's dead! The guards! Help! Someone kill the prisoner! Mine! There you are! You are mine! <laughs> <laughs> Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I see our new Abbasiyah bureau is well guarded by an alert and active Rafiq. Bassem, <laughs> you startled me. I was just enjoying some poetry. Oh, whose? The court poet, Sayyida Arib. Her words chirp like the birds of paradise. Ah, yes. I have read her works. My friend Nihal and I used to sneak into the House of Wisdom when we were young. Hours we spent reading of gods and jinn. I always enjoyed this place. The House of Wisdom is not what it once was. Hmm. Is not our friend Ahmad ibn Musa there? He went to his workshop, as I recall. Yes. I sent a message for him to come and help set up this bureau, but he never replied. My spies could not contact him. A week has passed, and he cannot be found. So? One of the famous Banu Musa is missing in the House of Wisdom. Yes. Venture there and learn his fate. It shall be done. Smoke from the House of Wisdom. What does it mean? What happened here? It reeks of smoke. Who burned our precious books? This is worse than the loss of the great library of Alexandria. People, calm yourselves. The fire was small and has been contained. Allah's wrath is upon us. Most of our books are safe. The danger has passed. Old man, how did this fire start? 
Old man. <laughs> Fazil Fahim is old, as old as the House of Wisdom, which he commands. Forgive me, Ustadi. I spoke in haste. Can I help? No. The fire has been quenched by the Watermaster's bucket brigades. Who started these fires? Ruffians, I suppose. Enemies of the Khalifa, to be exact. What sort of books were they burning? It is too soon to tell. Perhaps the caretaker of books would know. I am searching for Ahmad ibn Musa. Ah, yes. He has a workshop here, but I have not spoken to him lately. Peace be upon you, Elder. I shall go. Uh, what is going on these days? I wanted to read the Hayat al-Hakim, the goal of the world. Here. But it was destroyed. <laughs> The library is guarded. Something must have happened. Hold on. Go in peace. The caretaker of books. He's dead. But he wrote Mansach in his own blood. I wonder. Something in his hand. Fabric. Torn from a woman's gown. But whose? Strange fires and a dead caretaker. Horrifying. I should hurry. Better keep my eyes open. Hey, what's going on? Thank you. 
Time. I... I almost cracked it. Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. What are you trying to crack? The book. I said I couldn't. This is not a language I know, but she gave me no choice. Who? A woman named Zahra. One of the scholars here. What is this book? What is it called? The only thing I know is that it is written in a script unlike any other, and I have seen hundreds. The way Zara talks, it's more of an artifact or relic than a book. I uh, lied about my progress so they wouldn't kill me. I can't read a single word. I don't even know if it's a language. Where can I find Zahra? I don't know. She could be anywhere in the city. I... I just want to go home. All right, get to safety before the guards return. Must be something here to help me. This book makes me uncomfortable. I will leave it here. This order letter mentions Arib, an innocent reference, or something more sinister. This letter gives the location of the scholar Zahra's estate. Time to visit Zahra's estate and see if she is involved with the order. This peculiar machine. I saw something like it in Ahmed's workshop. Nobody's home. Now is my chance to search her place. Zahra might return at any moment. Wooden weapons and training dummies. Looks like our scholar wields both pen and sword. Mm. 
Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. is definitely tied to the order, along with somebody named El Rabisu. Learned all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. Servants, prepare a glass of dex juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates. Then prepare the bath salts. I am utterly beat. Hmm. Paradise is where you find it. That old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah. Of course, say that. The real answers are in books. Zahra thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Hunayn could not translate a single word. I still need to find Ahmed ibn Musa, but I should also speak to the caretaker of books in the library. Greetings, Yaham. If I may, where is the scholar Ahmed ibn Musa? 
Ah, yes. The most adventurous of the Banu Musa. His workshop is right behind me. Thank you, Yaham. Basim, hey! Nine fingers, over here! Nihal! What do you have there, sneak thief? A book. I managed to save at least one from the fire. If they catch you stealing... They cut off a finger. No, wait. A whole hand. That is not funny. Then don't laugh. All right, you are in a mood, and I have things to do. Nothing that concerns you. Oh, secret hidden one stuff. What are you doing this time? Stabbing? Stealing? Stabbing and then stealing? That is your specialty, Nihal. Just because you lost a finger does not mean you've lost your touch. All these tools and books looks like Ahmed's room. But where is he? The letter says these books are for Ahmed. Measuring tools, like my father used to own. But these are Ahmed's. Ahmed always signs his work. This is definitely his doing. working on something new. But what? Diagrams, machine tools, and other oddities. This is definitely Ahmed's workshop. But where can he be? Pardon me. May I help you? I am looking for Ahmed ibn Musa. Do you know where I can find him? I may be able to help you. Follow me. Is this your first visit to the House of Wisdom? No. A friend and I used to sneak in as kids. We taught ourselves to read in your library. All young people should follow your worthy example. The caretakers who chased us out of the stacks every day did not think so. Merely doing the jobs. And what did you study in the House of Wisdom? I loved poetry and heroic tales. My friend preferred pagan gods and dark magic. Interesting. <laughs> And did you follow your youthful passion and become a scholar? When the whole world awaits. No. You might say I am a man on a mission. Ah, well. What about your friend? No, no, she... still searches for something. Though what that is, I do not know. A shame. <sighs> the sun feels good upon my skin. It's not far now. Hurry, hurry. I feel like a cup of... God, help! Help! I'm under attack! What? You lie! <laughs> 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 Let me into a trap. I should slay you where you stand. Spare kindly, Hamid. Then tell me, where is Ahmad ibn Musa? Please, sir. I don't know where he is. Truly, I do not. Then why lead me into an ambush? He... He made me do it. Who is he? Not Ahmad, surely. I don't know his name. For he always wears a mask. And what does this masked man want? 
He commands me to keep everyone away from the House of Wisdom's dig site. Or else... Or else what? He will hurt my head. Like with the others. Please, spare humble Hamid. Where is this dig site? It's in the wilderness. Outside of the city. Hey, let me draw you a map. The map should lead me to the dig site. What see you, my friend? Massive dig. What are they up to? Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. This heat makes me ill. Oh, I want to vomit. Mercenaries are guarding the site. They must have found something important. I know. When do we get paid, Captain? Are you the leader of this battle scarred band of war dogs? You must get paid well. Not as much as we want to get paid, I'll tell you that. Care to do a little work for me? Maybe. What's this job then? See those fancy Khalifa's men over there? I might need a hand. Hmm. Let's work something out. On second thought, I will do it myself. <laughs> Good luck with that. We'll get paid. I know. One I way or the other. So they don't have another. much to steal. Why does that fool of us gotta <laughs> travel with so many chests? Hmm. Nothing. I should see if there are any more chests around. I only need my blade, my water skin, and my bed. Signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a doctor Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? It must all link together somehow. Bimaristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. This time with a broken finger. Yet after his treatment. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office.
как бы Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No! That's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind. A path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim, because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not.
How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands. Isn't it, Basim? Do not care for these diagrams. A bloody mess. Head bandages. But this is a hospital after all. Turn to the bureau. Basim! <laughs> I knew it was you. You are not the only one with eyes that see afar. So, Tabed, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies. Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon. It can be used for good or ill. And the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go! Spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom.
Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Fazal Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'munia? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. The translator? What is he still doing here? Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wada'an. <laughs> That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmad and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. 
The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. The bid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands, pilot of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears, from your... Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order, or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside, if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemy. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Father. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down.
قد راجعت الأمر مئة مرة How exciting! But do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. <laughs> Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders. Mayhem and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest word. Looks clear. I've lost I can Fossil's use my weapons again word. if needed. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fuzzle's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazl Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct one. Like somebody left a book in the stairwell. I 
I better not use my weapons here. The folly of poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. volume written by Fazil Fahim could be his masterwork its title is those who came before are those who shall return this has to be it I better not use my weapons here Gatekeeper, those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed. my weapons again if needed. The 
There is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. What have they done to these people? Poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud. In here, Lackwit. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets, we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness.
No question about it. Fazil was neck deep in the Order. The Scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings. The masters of memory. Basim ibn Ishaq. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... This light... These sounds... We cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past... in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours... This repulsive shadow that crushes your chest... Has it crawled back into the past too? No. It is still here. Sometimes, even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality, too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rock sweeper... Boss him. It is done. And how did it all play out? I am afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked one's prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. 
clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Fulad, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. What beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. Survey the area, Enkidu. I hope she is home. You will not bar me from my guest. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. 
I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Anta, go. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yalakarof. After the honey drips from her lips, a thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Arib could be a thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. Desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> It seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. 
are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. You get that! <laughs> <laughs> Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. How far will the fox flee? Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. How dare you walk among us? You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. The Madalim courts are close. Derwish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. My father once said, to know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... 
Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. That messenger could lead me to the governor's office. Whatever secret he buried there. There. Now focus, Basim. Do not lose them again. Good. Now stay where I can see you, would you? always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. 
Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Your services are required, friend. Has the governor returned? I am not sure. I did not see him go upstairs. Hey? Vigilance is... Too obvious? Wait! <laughs> في أمان الله يا صديقي Ibn Tahir's office at last. Abu Abdullah swears allegiance to the Khalifa and that he will not seek the throne himself. A man who puppets the powerful, who seeks to purge the hidden ones at Alamut. I have seen enough. Ocean, desert, cobra, dove. It seems he is an admirer of Arib the poet. The governor has been tracking the rebels. And the hidden ones. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The masked cabal, the order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah, and I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey, a member of the Order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. 
You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut. They gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you lose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar after all. Order or no, Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. They say the Harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. There, one of the Thahabi members. I should investigate. <laughs> We have another shard. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither. So this could be interesting. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was. While Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him. And her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira. And try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Come 
That looks like a good fit. Let us just move you out of the way. A bit tight across the chest. And gut. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuvalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in, apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it, tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Eye paint and magic potion? Seriously? So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Bigger eyes might add to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. Paint and potion acquired. Now to get that key. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. 
But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Sir, are you lost? You cannot be here. <laughs> for a Khalifa. The Garden and its Mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Mufa. You. Kabiha might have been lax about lateness, but I am not so lenient as she. I am sorry, Farah. It will not happen again. Farah? To you, she's Sayyidati. Or Ummu Walad. Go about your duties. Mufarah, he cannot still believe he will take the throne. Have you met his mother? Yuridu minni al hasanu an uasil al mudiya hadihi al marra. أن أرى المخطوطات وأقيم صحتها إلا أنني على بعد ثلاثة أسابيع فحسب يجب أن العودة لابد أن هذا جنود لن يتفوه بكلمة حول الأمر There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster.
The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hand. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. Hairpin. Nings. When did Kabiha get it? I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? Map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Kabiha herself. What is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body. Just a study of native herbs. Their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna. Deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you.
I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel, and end this once and for all. Basim, have you investigated your three suspects? If not, then your work is not complete. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared, we've been bared to our enemies. Yes, in exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by... His mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not... A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Abiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemy, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al-Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al-Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long-forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace, and I will cut the head from the snake. It seems Ali decided to attack the palace after all. His rebels could distract these guards. Must be quick and quiet. Ziha will be on her guard. Yeah. 
servants go where they will. This man might help me open some doors. Such heaviness in the air today. These are treacherous times. And most inhospitable. Are we not bade to honor the guest as he is entitled? We are. But Al Mutawakkil was murdered in his winter palace. Security has increased here since. I can see that. Everywhere I go, I am met with dark looks and locked doors. If only this were enough to open them. If only. An open door is a priceless thing. This will throw open all doors. I hope your visit improves. I feel a change in the air already. Finally, now to find Kobiha and save Alamut. How can any man sit in a bath that long? Word has it, Kabiha enjoys a good soak as well. <sighs> like mother, like son. Abdullah must be nearby. Kabiha's son may lead me to his mother. Not a familiar face. We have to stop meeting like this. I could not agree more. Where is Kabiha? If I knew, I would not tell you. Do not play the fool, Makira. Why not? It worked the last time. Do you know what Kabiha is? What she really is? More than anyone. I am more child to her than her own son. That fool who let his father die before his eyes. You have no idea who you are dealing with. But I do. And I say to you kindly, leave this place. Makira will warn her mistress. Let us see where she leads. Library. Kobiha must be within. Lanat Allahia Lake. Can you not leave me alone? You? Gladly. But your mistress. Do what you will. You will not find her. I have nothing more to say to you. There must be a room beyond this one. 
But how to reach it? What was it, Ari? Many volumes by Ari. Kobiha is an admirer. Blue, black, white, and yellow tomes. Which book would Kabiha choose to mark her path? She had Arib's book in her office. So many years spent searching, combing ancient tomes and tombs, tracing forgotten histories, snatching at rumor and at myth. When all I needed to do was wait for you to come to me. Prodigal Sion has arrived. Yet he knows not what he is. <laughs> Have you not wondered at your nature? You, who see more, who know more. <laughs> Even my son knew to ask what you were. When he saw your hand touch and wake the ancient's gift. What am I? Something more than man. Enough riddles. Speak plainly! Why speak what can be shown? Come with me to Alamut. Beneath its temple walls lies all the knowledge that you are heir to. Your so-called brothers would sooner die than see you claim it. But take heart, Basim. We will prepare the way. And set you free. Ah! No! <coughs> what poison have you lapped at her lips? She said I was something more than man. What did she mean, Roshan? What lies beneath the temple? That is forbidden ground. There's nothing there for you. I told you of the nightmares. The jinni. You called it weakness. Told me to mend it. I tried and tried, but you hid the way. You let me struggle alone! Not alone! You are not the first to walk the shadows broken, Basim. Stitch your shattered pieces into a hole. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. Hurt yourself of the poison she dripped and come home to us. No more than a man. 
but no less than our brother. Or is it too little for you? What if it is? Follow the path she laid out for you, and I will kill you myself. Basim, are you well? Basim! I... I do not know. You... You were right, Nihal. My enemy, Qabiha, she held the answers. What did you learn? That there is more to who I am. A truth Qabiha tried to tell me. A truth my master sought to silence. That truth lies at Alamut. So we ride for Alamut. I will go, Nihal. I alone. You need me. I need you safe. I am safe with you, and you with me. I may find nothing there but danger and death. This is my fate. I will not turn back from it, but neither will I have you face it. Where you go, there I will go. Where you rest, there I will rest. I will walk behind you every step of the way. You are never alone. Now get back in. We will not leave Alamut until you have found the answers you seek.
Not the welcome you were expecting, eh? Well, at least you had the fortune to be elsewhere when the Tahirids came for us. What happened? I, uh... Fear Alamut has fallen. I was tasked with finding help. I went into the desert to find other patrols. Then I found you. Were there... others with me? No. Only you. Then Nihal lives. And Roshan? I had hoped she would be with you. Come, brother. We must head out. Find any survivors and cleanse Alamut of its infestation. I, uh... fear I cannot. How bad? I will make every last one of them pay. Vengeance is not our way, brother. Our way? You sit bleeding to death and still cling to this foolish dogma. And for what? Our creed could not protect Alamut. And neither could I. Nor I. But our beliefs are why you still draw breath. And are why you must save any of us who may yet live. On that we can agree. You have my word. Oh, fuck a Allah, Basim. There is nothing left to say, brother. Go! Save who you can! Noor. Our patrols. Our training. It feels like a lifetime ago. Steady. Steady, girl. All is well. All is well. Your master left you in my care. Our temple. Whatever lies beneath, I must see it for myself. No matter the cost. All this blood and death is this what Kabiha meant by preparing the way? Nihal, please be safe, wherever you are. Some of my clan still live. Mentor Rehan among them. Oh! 
When I find you, you will bleed. Hold on! <laughs> Shukran, Basim. Basim! What? Basim! How? I thought you were in Baghdad. Where are the others? Roshan! I came alone, for the same reason these men did. I know the truth, Mentor, about the temple and what it shelters. Our enemies told me as much. They urged me to seek it, because only I could. You? Thus the Order used the Tahrids to decimate Alamut, because you... You are their key. To what? What are you protecting that is worth all this bloodshed? Ancient ground. For generations, it has been our duty to watch over it. Defend it from the Order, who seek to exploit its secrets. The temple houses its entrance, but Basim, even though it is forbidden, I have searched. There is no means to access it. Then I will find a way myself. You must not. It is what the Order wants, don't you see? If what we protect should fall into the wrong hands... It will fall into mine. Look around you, at what the Order is prepared to unleash upon us. If I can gain the knowledge they seek, it can be what finally gives us an edge in this endless war. This is the way forward. For the Hidden Ones.
the temple. Let us finish this. Nothing and no one shall get in my way. Not now, not when I am this close. to say I am on the right path. if I can achieve what these intruders could not. What magic is this? Wait, I know this symbol. idea of a brotherhood! The brotherhood is unified. There is no place for those who would set themselves above it. Is that what you think I am doing? Wake up, Captain. You walk the Order's path. The very people you swore to fight against. You're fulfilling their mission. In danger, the very thing you swore to defend. Free will. And where is mine? How can I champion something denied to me? Your creed is flawed! Roshan's shoulder, it is unprotected. Him. 
Leave her. Come. I never wanted this. But I need to know. I do not want to lose you. To what you may find in there. You do not have to look to the past. To know who you are. Who you can be. You can choose, Basim. Put your faith in me. I tried. And in the end, you thought it best to control me. No different than our enemies. Basim! Over here! I... I know what this is. The key. She will follow. No. She cannot. You saw it yourself. More of those objects. I wonder what truths lie within. What stories they serve to tell. Whatever lies within carries grave importance. For the Hidden Ones. For the Order of the Ancients. For me. What have we walked into? Where has my path brought us? You do not want to know why anyone was brought to this place. Are my eyes deceiving me? Are you seeing this? Nihal? I am. I am here. Wherever we are, it was built long ago. To serve what purpose, I do not know. I do. How? I... I do not know. Nihal, you are worrying me. Yeah. 
Ginny in my dreams. The figure from these visions. They are one and the same. Is this what I have been seeing? The memories of a life long ago? Are they mine? Is that why the Ginny feels so real? My tormentor. The source of all that ails me. If this is so. Then I must face you! No! Why am I seeing this? what it was born of, or why it haunted me so. But I am beginning to remember. I am in a cold cell, begging for it all to stop. was may seek retribution, but if I am to move beyond this pain, then what I want is peace. It is time to put an end to this. The 
you are. A crippling memory from a past life. And that is where you will remain. It is only the beginning for us, for what lies ahead. A deeper understanding of the world we left behind and our place in it. All my life I wrestled with who I was. Who I was meant to be. And there you were, all this time. The side of me I resisted. A reflection of who we once were. Of who we shall be once more. There is so much that awaits us. A new world. Let me show you. I will never see you again, will I? Will I be alone? You are never alone. It is done. You made your choice. Now, I make mine. Wadaan Roshan bin Ahad. It was an honor. Come, Barsin. We have much to discuss. <laughs> that we do, Mentor. This memory I buried of this place, this prison, 
The torture I suffered here, it festered for years. The darkness and dreams, masked as a jinni, to haunt me and hollow me until it consumed my waking life. But I have faced my past, my pain, embraced it. I shed my skin once, in another time, another place. But I am whole again. I remember. And as for those who thought to bind me, should any of them still walk the earth? I so look forward to our reunion. But until that day, a new world awaits.